Hey guys, Brian Matthews here with another video for you from Southern Pine Outdoors. In today's video, as you can tell by the lovely box here, we're going to do a Moultrie Deer Feeder Standard Edition. Um, I currently have the Moultrie Deer Feeder Pro and uh, love it. It's programmable up to six different uh, times of the day, uh, which is way more than I actually need for my property here at the house. Um, but I've got two gravity feeders, um, and the deer are just going through the corn, uh, and the feed crazy. I mean, it's, it's unreal. So, uh, instead of spending all the money, keep refeeding these gravity feeders once a week, uh, with a 50 pound bag, I figured I'd be better off investing a little bit more money, um, at 120 bucks, getting one of these Moultrie deer feeder standards and, uh, seeing and trying my luck with it and seeing if it's just as good as the pro that I've got. The biggest difference between the standard and the pro is the actual mechanism here. Uh, these actually take four AA batteries where the, uh, uh, the pro has a, a standard, what I'm gonna call a standard square battery, six volt battery. Um, it may last a little bit longer, but I've also got a solar charger on that one. Um, may get a solar charger for this one if it's compatible. Uh, if not, I'm going to use the batteries that are included with the with the feeder here. Um, and once those run out, get me a set of lithium batteries, and that should last. You know, last you all season. You shouldn't have to go out there um, unless you're just letting it go off. You know, four times a day. Um, every day and, and it, it would probably only last you maybe a month, month and a half um, on the standard batteries. So uh, let's get into it. Like I say, this is a 30 gallon deer feeder, five and a half foot tall, and it comes with the batteries and it's programmable up to four different times a day. And uh, it does have the, what they call their quick lock connect system underneath. So you could actually take the mechanism off if you don't like this battery powered one and put the standard um, uh, feeder uh, system underneath it, or you can put a gravity feeder system underneath it, whatever you feel like you need to do. Um, but anyways, let's get into the box and see what we got. Okay, so what you should have in your box is the top half of the container, the bottom half of the container, your lid, the mechanism itself, which comes with all the bolts wrapped up inside in a Ziploc bag, your four batteries, all your paperwork, your warranty, I would assume, or whatever that comes with the instructions. Uh, three, what I'm going to say, 45 angled legs, and then uh, six straight legs. And uh, I will say, based off my experience from the previous feeder, the hardest part is <laughs> putting all these wing nuts together to put, uh, to put the lid in the bottom half of the container actually together. So I'm going to do that real quick so y'all can fast forward to this section and... Uh, that way you don't have to watch it. It's, it's simple. Just stick the bolt through and uh, take the, uh, the wing nut and screw it on. So like I say, I'm gonna fast forward this part.
All right, so this is that quick connect system uh, that I was telling you about. Basically, all you do is you take this and you can simply twist it. It does have a port for solar here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to unscrew the bottom cap. And you can see there's your program screen with the slots for all your four AA batteries. We're going to remove the piece of cardboard and the tape off the side. Use the provided AA batteries, which I greatly appreciate. There's not a lot of companies out there that will actually provide you everything you need, um, which is, you know, nice that they don't make the batteries like an add-on type deal. Once you get them in there, Hopefully you'll notice there's these little tabs and your screen should automatically come on. There are these little tabs right here. You just twist those over and they will actually lock into place to keep the batteries from getting shaken loose. Um, you've got your different modes. So obviously you've got your time, your set timer one, how long you want to go off of, and then two, three, four, and then your actual time. So it's not 12 p.m., it's actually 8.30. So just gotta hold it down and let it roll through the time. And I'm going to wait the extra second. Okay. So... Got mine set at 8.40 a.m. I'm gonna go to the first setting. I'm gonna actually set it to about, I'm gonna say 7.30, eight o'clock, somewhere around there. And then hit mode again and let it go off for six seconds. That's just what I've got the other one going off of. The other one's going off at seven, I believe. And then the second timer, you, what you'll have to do is you'll have to turn it down to zero so that it won't go off at all if you don't want it to go off but once a, a day, which is what I'm planning on doing for right now. Um, I may increase it. I just wanted to get it going, see what it does, and uh, yeah. So that's basically how you set the timer up. That's one thing I do love about Moultrie. They... They keep it simple. And then all you do is you just slide it down onto the feeder and it'll click in just like that. So your tree legs are 
tree legs, your feeder legs, you should just take the two and simply push them together and that'll make one leg. Yellow jacket up. And that should be pretty much it. You will have some extra stuff. I know these bolts here are used for the accessories you can actually run that bolt through there straight up and attach a game camera to it if you want to um, be honest with you I'm not sure what these other little pieces are for some kind of plastic something or another um, I'll hang on to them hang on to the, the paperwork and then obviously you got your lid you just twist it on into place so here's the additional paperwork like I say you do get the uh, the instructions on how to set the feeder up if the video is not in depth enough, you do have that. I do like the fact that they give you how much per second, how much feed you're actually dispensing. And then, uh, you know, like I say, gives you the instructions to actually put the thing together. Um, I'm not seeing, like I say, where the uh, little plastic pegs go that they give you, but maybe that's just a generic thing that they give you you do have it in Spanish as well um, they give you a little something another here I don't even know what it is and then obviously a little brochure for their cameras and accessories and things like that um, I do have the Moultrie charger as well as the Moultrie uh, solar panel like I said, that solar panel's on the other, um, the other feeder. What I will probably do, I'm going to try that solar panel on this one, since this one's battery powered, and, uh, and see if it actually charges it. Uh, hopefully it does, but it'll be in the woods, so it may not be that efficient. But uh, the other one I've got an actual extra battery for, and I can charge it. So that way I'm not having to change batteries out as often. But uh, hopefully this video helps you out. Like I said, I just wanted to give y'all a, a different video um, as far as another review of the differences between the standard and the pro. Like I say, the biggest difference is the, uh, the programmability and then the type of batteries it takes. Everything else is pretty much exactly the same. Um, the spinner on it, on this one is metal instead of plastic. Uh, so hopefully that metal will last a little longer than that plastic, but I hadn't had any issues out of the plastic one yet. So, but if you have any questions, comment down below. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching. And uh, always like and subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have y'all follow along. Appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good one.